Okay, now let's take up this kind of a sum you have. Now, how is this going? It's going to be root x plus 1 upon root x dx. So, we need to find this out in the real of this. So, we have the stylish s coming up, which is going to be basically integral of x raised to half dx plus x raised to minus half dx the integral of this so obviously this is going to be x raised to half plus 1 upon half plus 1 n in this case is half plus x raised to minus half plus 1 upon minus half plus 1 there is a k1 here k2 here those two added together you can get k this will give you x raised to 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 and this gives x raised to half upon half plus k. On simplification, this becomes 2 by 3 x raised to 3 by 2 plus 2 x raised to half plus k. Now, here we can take You can take 2x raised to half common if you see this, this and this and you have 2x raised to half and inside you get x raised to 1 that is by 3 and plus 1 plus k. So that is 1 by 3x plus 1 plus k. So what do we have here? Not 1, this, this, this. None of them introduces k, so it has to be. So it's going to be 2x raised to half into x by 3. You can put the bracket over here and the constant, of course, is coming out. So we have 2x raised to half, which is among these definitely not this. The expression is the same. 2x raised to half into 1 by 3 into x, which is basically x by 3 plus 1. But there is no constant here. This, of course, is out of question. All right. So, it's going to be none of these, simply because nowhere is there a mention of constant here. Yes, alright, so it's none among these. Furthermore, okay, so what we have over here, something pretty interesting over here, 2 raised to 3x, 3 raised to 2x, 5 raised to x. So, friends, do you remember what formula we need to use? Is it going to be x raised to n? No. If you see, it's a constant raised to a variable, so we're going to use the formula a raised to x. But before that, we need to modify certain things here. This is basically 2 cube raised to x. If you remember the formula a raised to m n indices, nothing but a raised to m raised to n. And this is going to be 3 square raised to x into 5 raised to x dx, which is basically 8 into 9 into 5 the whole raised to x dx. We are using the formula a, a raised to x, b raised to x, c raised to x is nothing but a, b, c raised to x, which is going to be 360 raised to x dx. Now here we are using the formula a raised to x dx is nothing but a raised to x upon log a. So this is going to be 360 raised to x upon log 360 plus k. Now this again, now among the options given over here, this is not given as 360 raised to x. So we're going to rewrite the 360 raised to x as 2 raised to 3x into 3 raised to 2x into 5 raised to x upon log 360 plus the constant or whatever you can call it constant. Here they call it c, we call it k. So, among these, we have option number B as the right answer. So, let's see whether we are getting this. Yes, it's going to be B. Okay. Now, we have evaluation of 5x squared dx. We have done examples like these. So, it's basically 5 into x squared dx, which is going to be 5 into x raised to 2 plus 1, that is 3 upon 2 plus 1, 3 plus a constant, which is going to be 5x cubed upon 3 
plus k which is option number b <coughs> yes we do have a try 5x cube by 3 now these examples we can go ahead very fast as i've been mentioning earlier as you are going around through this uh, slides as you're watching this please keep a paper and pencil in hand so that whatever you can try you try the best way of learning any form of mathematics any branch of mathematics is by practicing so that you come to know which are the ones which don't really need that degree of uh, constant reinforcement and you concentrate on the ones which you feel require constant practice and reinforcement Anyway, coming back to our slides, we have 5x cube upon 3 plus k. All right. Now, further, the next one, you have integration of 3 minus 2x minus x raised to 4. So, let's put it this way. It's going to be integration of 3 dx minus 2 into integration integral of dx minus x raised to 4 dx. Remember 3 dx is nothing but 3 into x raised to 0. So this is going to be 3x plus a constant minus 2 into x square by 2, 2 plus 1 minus x raised to 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 plus a constant say k. This is going to be 3x. This of course gets cancelled minus x square minus x raised to 5 upon 5 plus constant. So, it's going to be 3x minus x square minus x raised to 5 plus k. So, among these, it's going to be this one. Option number b, which matches or tallies with what we have. <coughs> All right. Furthermore, we have given f of x is 4x cubed plus 3x square minus 2x plus 5 then integral of f of x dx is what? In a simple way, find the integral of this, which is going to be 4 into x cube dx plus 3 into x square dx minus 2 into integral of x dx plus 5 into integral of dx, which is going to be 4x raised to 3 plus 1, 4 upon 3 plus 1, 4. This gets cancelled plus 3 into x raised to 2 plus 1, 3 upon 2 plus 1, 3, minus 2 into x raised to 1 plus 1, 2 upon 1 plus 1, 2, plus 5x. So, ultimately, it is x raised to 4, yes, of course, a constant. x raised to 4 plus x cube minus x square plus 5x plus the constant. So, this is what it culminates to, which is going to be option number B. Yes, minus. It's, it's the same as this, but remember, it's not plus k. So, there has to be a constant when you integrate. We'll come across cases later on where it is writing the constant is not needed when we come to definite integration. <clears throat> yes, so we have option number B as the right option. Okay, so now further we have evaluation of x square minus 1 dx, which is going to be x square dx minus dx, which is the same as minus 1 dx, which is going to be x cube upon 3 minus x plus k. So it's going to be x cube by 3 minus x plus k. So it's option number B. Yes, and we do have it. Furthermore, 1 minus 3x into 1 plus x dx, we need to expand this. When you expand this, you get 1 into 1, 1, 1 into x, x minus 3x turns out to be minus 2x, minus 3x square, the whole thing dx. If you open the bracket, it's going to be 1 into 1, 1, 1 into x, x minus 3x is minus 2x, minus 3x square, which will be obviously 1 dx minus 2 into x dx, minus 3 into x square dx, which is going to be x minus 2 x square by 2, minus 3 x cubed by 3, plus a constant k. Minus x cubed, x minus x square minus x cubed plus k. 
So it's option number C. Let's check whether we got it right. All right, yes, it's option number C. Furthermore, it is root x minus 1 upon root x. So, again, it's going to be x raised to half dx minus x raised to minus half dx, which is going to be x raised to half plus 1, which is x raised to 3 by 2 upon half plus 1, 3 by 2 minus x raised to minus half plus 1, that is half, upon minus half plus 1, half plus a constant, which is going to be 2 by 3, x raised to 3 by 2, minus 2, x raised to half, plus a constant. So, among these you have 2 by 3, x raised to 3 by 2, so we have it in the right go itself, option number A is the correct answer. It's 2 by 3, x raised to 3 by 2, minus 2, x raised to half, plus k. Yes, alright, so it's option number A. Okay, the integral of px cube plus qx square plus rk plus w by x, so it's basically going to be plus rk plus w upon x dx which is the integral of px dx p is a constant that goes up so it's going to be 3 plus 1 4 by 4 plus q into x raised 2 plus 1 that is x q upon 2 plus 1 3 plus r into r k is going to be r k x because both r and k are constant, so it's going to be r k x plus w by x is w into log x <coughs> plus k. So it's going to be p x raised to 4 by 4 plus q x cubed by 3 plus r k x plus w log x plus k. So among these, we don't have any of these, so it has to be none of these. None of these seem to tally. Okay. Right. The next, of course, we have x raised to 4 plus 3 by x. Do we need to work this out? It's pretty simple. Nevertheless, we'll do it. So, it's going to be x raised to 4 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 plus 3 by x, which is going to be 3 log x. Remember, it's plus a constant, which is going to be x raised to 5 upon 5 plus 3 log x plus the constant. So, it's going to be, which is the same as 1 by 5, x raised to 5. So, it's going to be option number B. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. Evaluate the integral 1 minus x cubed divided by x dx and the answer is equal to so and so. So, 1 minus x cubed by x cubed. So, let's expand this. 1 minus x cubed is 1 cubed 1 minus 3 into 1 square into x. So, minus 3x plus 3 into 1 into x square that is 3x square and the last term is minus x cubed the whole upon x. So, it's going to be all these upon x, 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 dx. Remember, just to remind you, a minus b, the whole cube we are using here, which is nothing but a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. So, alternate terms are opposite. So, we use the same formula over here. In this case, a is 1 and b is x. So, we are using this formula and we get this. Now, this is going to be 1 by x dx minus 3 dx plus 3 x dx minus x square dx, which will turn out to be log x minus 3x plus 3x square by 2 minus x cubed by 3 plus a constant. So, it was to be 
log x minus 3x plus 3 by 2x cube minus x cube by 3. This seems to be the closest, but down all among these, so it has to be none of these. Okay, most of these seem to be none of these. Okay, 